Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Inside of today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the best five brawlers to use your vision gear tokens on. You guys have been asking a few questions about the vision gear, so I'm going to give you guys a few tips and whatever else you need. So before we jump into it, make sure you're using the credit code. That'd be greatly appreciated. And without further ado, let's jump into it. Alright guys, jumping into the fifth best brawler to put your vision gear tokens on. It is going to be a uh, tick. So tick, it's going to be really strong with the vision gear, especially uh, considering our tick uh, can uh, be pressured a lot by people that are inside of the grass and whatever else so having that vision gear is going to allow tick to push up that little bit more of course you can be really vulnerable to people sneaking so uh this gear is going to allow you to push up but one thing about tick uh is especially he's so good with pretty much every single gear so i feel like you don't need necessarily need the vision gear on tick don't feel like vision gear uh is the complete strongest but of course i feel like so many people have so many vision gears available so if you haven't used any gears up on tick yet then vision gear is definitely uh, one of the ones that tick can get a lot of value out of us so unfortunately i'm not really getting the most value on this map because a lot of these uh, players are just sitting outside of the grass but again safe these uh, uh players are going to be camping beyond this um grass you just need one shot on them and then you can push up because you can see where they are also a really good counter to leon you can see here for much longer i'm able to see uh, where leon is in the in the invis and maybe i could have died there if for that well if it wasn't for that vision gear because he could have sneaked up a little bit better but me and my teammate were able to see him and scout him out so that's going to be like the number one uh, usage uh, for the vision gear to be honest uh well considering a lot of people don't really have uh the what well, like max accounts and whatever else like me myself i've had to use all my scrap to actually get five rulers to level three vision and then i've got no more scrap left uh but i've still got probably like 80 vision gears left to use uh but as i was saying like not everyone's gonna have uh like the funds to literally put vision gear on literally every brawler but it's only a couple of brawlers that you really need to put the vision gear on especially if you're playing power league especially to counter the likes of leon and sandy so leon gonna be sneaking in it's like the perfect counter to leon that leon just got absolutely destroyed because he literally jumped on one tick mine so that is going to be the fifth best brawler to use the vision gear on you're going to get a lot of value out of it with tick let's hop into the next one all right guys jumping into the fourth best brawler to use with a new vision gear it is going to be pam so pam is definitely going to be insane with this vision gear just because of her overall mechanics just being able to shoot multiple shots within one piece of ammo it's going to allow you to get more value out of your vision gear that's probably the main reason why of course uh pam uh, she's decent with a lot of the uh, gears. I mean, damage is going to be good with her. Speed's going to be good with her. But I feel like you don't necessarily need damage on Pam. So you can definitely switch it out for the vision gear, especially if you play on a bushy map. So we're going to get a lot of control there just because we know where the enemies are pretty much all the time. Also running with uh, Squeak using the vision uh, gadget as well. So we just got the ultimate vision uh, loadout here. So we should be able to survive this from a tick we're going to heal up in time i haven't even popped my gadget yet either but uh playing on this map just to kind of show like the true potential of the vision gear so we're going to get slowed by that uh squeak unfortunately he's going to do a lot of damage with that uh gadget we're going to be able to heal up in time now but all the bushes are basically destroyed now so we're not going to be getting too much um value out of this vision gear and also one thing to note about the vision gear is that of course it's going to be a really good counter to those brawlers uh, that get so much value out of the speed gear so those tankier brawlers uh, if you pop the vision gear onto your uh, brawler you're going to get a lot of value you're going to be able to scout them out and especially like rosa in the bushes you know one of the most annoying brawlers with the speed gear vision gear is definitely going to be countering her a lot easier so we're going to throw uh, the super onto the squeak that's going to be squeak dead just three more kills needed we can just keep being so aggro with this pam we're going to pop the gadget onto the squeak as well squeak's already got a slow reload speed my pam turret finishes it off as well so that's going to be the fourth best brawler to use a vision gear on let's hop into number three all right guys so jumping into the third best brawler to use the new vision gear on it is going to be crow so i felt like with crow uh, to begin with i felt the vision gear would be really overrated with him just because he already scouts the bushes for five seconds with his just normal poison but if you've got to think about it it's going to extend his vision basically for another two seconds so already the enemies are going to be so annoyed uh, getting poisoned by a crow but an extra two seconds after that one they're going to be vulnerable so we're going to slow that nita right there i'm going to say i was going to jump on over right there but she's going to go down in time i'm going to jump on the squeak probably going to be a bad choice and unfortunately enough the nita wasn't close outside would have probably been a bit of a throw but yeah this fishing gear on crow definitely gonna be super super strong and these bushy maps crow already so strong on he already needs like the speed gear he's good with damage he's good with shield 
Uh, but for like the vision gear, you can definitely put it on his build because that's going to be really OP on him, and especially countering the likes of Leon even harder. Like Crow was already a good pick to counter Leon, and imagine a Crow with vision against a Leon. They're just not going to do a, uh, be able to do a single thing, especially Sandy Supers as well. So I'm going to look to try and get a slow on this Shelly here. Yes, Shelly's going to get slow. Try not to get too close because that uh, gadget is pretty dangerous right here. So we're going to run up over this way. Make sure we keep Anita tapped up. That Anita's just going to be uh, visible for such a long time. We're going to jump in here as well. Try and get the kill onto Nita. Hopefully we can get out of here in time. Fortunately, the Baron is healing us quite a fair bit. Shelly's going to destroy even more grass. That's just going to help us out even more, to be honest, because Crow is going to thrive uh, in the open. So it looks like we only need two more kills. Should be an easy enough win for us. And still got one more slow. So we're going to use a slow here on both the Nita and the Squeak. As soon as you can get two pieces of value with your slow, it's just a good idea to pop the gadget anyways, just so you can get some good value out of it so we're going to clean up the win there so that's going to be the third best brawler with the new vision gear let's hop into number two all right guys so hopping into the second best brawler to use the new vision gear on it is going to be with spike so spike with the vision gear is going to be absolutely insane especially because of his curveball stop how being able to scout the grass so easy it's just so up. you can just see where the bb is going the whole time uh, fortunately, well, unfortunately for us, our teammates are just going to go down uh, pretty easily. We're going to pop our gadget right here to try and stay alive a little bit longer against that surge. Sandy going to be sneaking up against us, but we should be able to get the Sandy down. Uh, only the surge left in the bushes. It's just essential uh, with the vision gear with Spike to just get that control in the middle. So we should be able to basically 1v3 here. Surge, okay, he's going to be pretty much one shot. Sandy one shot as well. Somehow we're able to snipe the surge and that Sandy should go down to the mortis as well, but... We're pretty much carrying the uh, team on our backs here just because of the scouting capabilities with spikes. So we're going to continue just to throw out some curveballs, hopefully hit a few enemies and try and scout them in a Sandy Super. Sandy's going to be sneaking around uh, that way. We're going to throw a few shots that way to hopefully scout uh, the BB. BB's probably through the middle now. Yeah, it's kind of cool that one. That's a nice bubble from the BB. Unfortunately, we're down by one, uh, but we should be able to make a comeback right here. Penny's just going to run into the open. Of course, people aren't going to be scouting the bushes. Okay, that <laughs> Mortis, <laughs> some reason, throws out a super. If he would have actually save that super that would have been a kill onto the bb's so unfortunately we're two deaths away from losing the game bb's gonna go down though so it looks like we're actually at a leveler here so i'm um, hoping our teammates do not throw here mortis trying to go in but fortunately we're going to get this final kill on the surge so you can just see here the vision gear with spike is really really op let's hop into the number one brawler. all right guys so jumping into the best brawler to use with the new vision gear it is going to be undoubtedly gene so gene i knew straight away as soon as i seen the vision gear that gene would just be insane with it just because of his scouting capabilities anyways just being able to uh, tickle people for like 200 and just keep them chipped down it just really suits the vision gear and especially on a grassy map like this i don't even have to hit the enemies for much as long as i'm considering consistently shooting and revealing their position we should be able to get more control of this middle grass so yeah Serge going to be trying to sneak in uh, trying to sneak down the right hand side we can keep him uh, visioned up we should be able to just run into him now and take him down that uh, should be the kill onto the fang as well i'm just going to pull him to make sure we get the kill onto him eve going to be running in uh here they're actually using one of the best compositions to use on this map so gonna be pretty rough for us to win this game we're going to just try and continue to scout this surge in the middle fang just going to run on in i'm going to use the gadget just because this gadget is insanely op definitely the best gadget in the game tickling them for a thousand damage yeah just talking absolute nonsense so should be able to continue to scout the grass unfortunately this eve is cycling supers over and over again so every single shot we're hitting is on a hatchling which is pretty damn bad fang gonna completely miss that super that should be him pretty much down though we're gonna use our gadget to try and keep us alive and somehow we're gonna go down yeah this eve is single-handedly carrying the enemy team if people are saying that eve isn't op anymore then they're just damn right telling a lie so i'm gonna pop a gadget right there uh, looks like this surge uh, should be able to go down so somehow some way we're actually winning here which i have no idea considering either scattered about 100 supers and yeah fortunately my puppy just wants to play around like crazy i'll have to do a video with roller one time let me know if you guys got any suggestions for a video with a roller that'd be pretty cool so 
I'm going to go for the pull on the Fang. And I just love the synergy that the Vision Gear has with the Gene Pool. Because you no longer have to blind pull in the grass. You know exactly where they're hiding. And for the most part, they're going to be hiding behind the wall. So you're going to be able to get a really nice pull. So yeah, Surge going to be chipped down even lower. And yeah, this Fang going to be chipped down against the... Um, well, below 3000 HP. I'm going to keep my uh, teammates healed up. And early 40 seconds left. I'm going to go in here, but he's not going to be able to get out with a kill. So just one more kill remaining. It looks like Tori's going to get it on the surge. And that's going to be it. So let me know down in the comment section below which brawlers you think are the best with the vision gear. And let me know your overall opinions on the vision gear. I feel like it's only really good uh, at countering certain brawlers like Leon and Sandy. Other than that, I won't really use the vision gear too often. Maybe it's a little bit underrated as people still need to try it out don't think it's completely useless but not one of the strongest gears for sure so yeah that's going to be it for today's video guys hope you enjoyed don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time